This is an educational video and should be treated as such. Please ensure that you check with your physician before you start any medical treatment. I did an x-ray on my knees about a year ago and this is the result. So what is written in red is my research. Let's talk a little bit about what I've been going through. I told you a couple of videos back, many videos back, that I was heading to Emancipation Park and that I would have stopped at an athletic store to buy myself a pair of weights because my knees were hurting so badly. I was going to buy myself these weights in the hope of getting some relief for my aching knees. When I did get the weights and they didn't work, they didn't work at all. I have gone through so many gadgets. I'm going to show them to you in the hope of finding something that works for my knee. And yes, I found something and I want to share the good news with you. So stay with me. I have some of the gadgets to show you. Here we have this um, foot pedal. Yeah. So it just, you just sit and pedal. All right. But it's hard to use when the knee hurts because when you have to pedal, then it causes a lot of pain. So I had to abandon that midstream. Then here's a walker. It helps me out very well. But then where I live, I have staircases to climb. So it doesn't help me very much when I'm going up the stairs. It helps me like when I'm in the house or if I carry it with me when I go to work, then it helps me along quite well because this one has wheels. And here is my lovely <laughs> walking stick. Yes, it helps me to balance. It's a serious situation. I am telling you about, you know, my friends, a very serious situation. It makes me feel so disabled. Yes, I might as well register as a disabled person and see whether or not my country will at least take care of me for a little bit. <laughs> well, that won't happen in Jamaica. So I just have to get well. Many persons have told me about all different types of remedies from pharmaco to homemade remedies. You name them, I have tried them. I heard some persons talking about red light therapy and the therapeutic effect of red light therapy, especially when you're having deep muscle and joint pains, man. Yes, that this type of therapy, red light therapy is the bomb. So, of course, I went on Amazon and I looked up red light therapy. They have a whole range. I have done my research on Google. I have gone to YouTube and everybody has given their review. And, you know, everybody's saying good things about red light therapy. Yes, so I went and I bought my own bulb. And it cost me a pretty penny too, you know. Yeah, I have been using it. It's very warm. It's red, um, rather soothing. Yeah, it creates a nice ambiance and when i put it near my skin you know i can actually it like i'm seeing what's happening beneath the skin i think it has a little buzz to it and it will do what it says it will do i am gonna continue to use all of the gadgets but there is one thing that i have added to this whole gamut of things that I'm using and the activities that I am engaging in. Yes, this one thing, I am going to tell you about it. Stick with me. And might I ask you to give me a subscription, please? Please subscribe to the channel. I need your help. It will help me to grow. And you're watching the video. And I know you might be enjoying it up to this point. So give me a subscription. No? Thank you. I would like that you would go and do your own research about or on 
red light therapy. Yes, I don't understand the science of these things. I am only, you know, doing the applied part of the research. It has been done already. I just need to know how to use whatever product. And yes, I do read the instructions. So I am pretty much sure that I am using them correctly. Of course, I have my friend who works at the gym and another one who does some kind of uh, physiotherapy. Yeah. And they do use some of these gadgets in their daily work. I'm going to turn the light on for you. There it is nice and warm yeah <laughs> it has a thing to it looking quite good and i must tell you that there are many sizes shapes um how should i put it there are a lot of them out there so you just choose the one that suits your need i had only bought the bulb the receptacle i bought here in jamaica so it suits my need just like this i am adding a disclaimer here again i am not giving medical advice i am just showing you the gadgets that i use i'm just sharing my experiences with you what you do with this information it's entirely up to you i am telling you what i do this here is a suction copying device yeah, it um, provides a suction in the area that it is placed. So this helps to increase blood flow to the area by lifting the skin or the muscles so that the blood vessels are released and so that you have more blood flow. The black part of it, yeah, it has some ridges that I use for massage. It works well for me. Again, I bought this one on Amazon. It is featured in my new approach to pain relief. And I find that it is working very well. So here is what I have been doing to help to relieve the pain in my feet. And it has been working very well. I will continue with this um, regiment of treatment for a while because I find that I am getting quite a bit of relief from the pains in my feet. So today I'm getting a foot massage, suction, all of that together. What I realize is that over time I have been using a lot of gadgets, the medications that I'm taking because, you know, my feet hurt my ankles my knees and i told you in a previous video that i have actually gone to the sports shop to get some weights to see whether or not it will help but nothing helped my co-worker suggested to me that maybe the muscle the fascia underneath my feet maybe those were tight so she ended up giving me a foot massage and foot rub and, you know, all the little niceties. And I must confess that in maybe two years, last night was the best I slept. So I am getting another massage today. I am using this cupping gadget alongside Kelly's fingers. <laughs> Hi, nurse. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. So, this has helped me. So, I'm going to, you know, be doing this daily for a while because I am sure that it helped me. And I want you to try it also. I am not offering medical advice here, not at all. I am just showing you what I do. So, maybe you can try it. It suctions and lifts. Okay, this stretch is feeling good. Yeah, so. And then this circular motion. So she's stretching my toes. Mm-hmm. It feels really good. So maybe you can ask, you know, someone to assist you and try this. 
if your knees are hurting and your ankles. It does help circulation, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, nurse. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Here we have the percussion gun. It is used for massage. It has four different heads which work different areas of the body. I didn't get the type of effect with my knee as I had anticipated because I now realize that it was the fascia maybe that needed to stretch before all of these gadgets were able to work as effectively as they should have. So now I am sure that I will get maximum effect from this purchase. Yeah, they cost a little bit of money. A pretty penny, I should say. So now I am going to enjoy them, knowing that I am getting relief from my pains. Yes, it's called a percussion gun. You can look it up. All right. This is my favorite heat pad. It provides dry heat. It has different settings. I think it's three different settings. Low, medium, and high. It does provide some comfort. A lot of comfort, I should say. It does help with circulation. But I guess the muscles on my feet are the sole of my feet. They were so tight that it alone, you know, and even with the other gadgets that I've been using, were unable to do their job because of the tightness of these muscles. They needed proper massage and loosening. So, I am going to continue using my dry heat. I said I'm going to use all of them because now that I'm experiencing this level of relief from massaging the sole of the feet then i know that i am gonna feel much better in a short time so this one provides dry eat this is my newest purchase the microwavable back wrap because i wasn't thinking about the sole of my feet being the problem so i bought this now to put on my knee so so it would provide some moist heat <laughs> but i haven't even used it yet so i can't tell you the type of effect that it will have but this is the newest addition to my pain relieving arsenal i am sure i will find much use for it it's a back wrap but i'm sure it will be used for my shoulders my ankles my leg, my feet, my arm, I will maximize the use of it. <laughs> yes, the newest addition to my pain relieving arsenal. I haven't tried it yet. I have just taken it from the box. Actually, I was planning to do an unboxing, but I'm doing this video and I want to show you all the things that I have or most of the things that I have here using or about to use to relieve my pain so this is what is inside of the box yeah it's real cushiony and feeling very nice yeah here is my famous tens machine hmm yeah i have used it so many times it gives a deep muscle massage eh? I would say some kind of electrical shock. It works where I put it, but it wasn't giving me the type of effect that I needed. Yes, I even put it on the sole of my feet, but then those muscles are needed to be loosened for me to get the real effect. So if you are planning on using these gadgets or any of these make sure to moisturize your feet and to get them actually you know the sole of your feet actually massaged you know stretchy 
so that the effect of the use of these gadgets can be felt. Yeah, the sole of our feet tend to become tight and they must be loosened. If not, we'll be having ankle pain, even toe pain. Yeah, because I was experiencing some type of pain in my toes. So let us make sure that we are massaging the sole of our feet. So here are some of the wraps that I have used. Yes, the socks, the sleeves. Oh yeah, all of them I have used in the hope of getting relief for my foot pain. All right, and alongside these, I have all of the NSAIDs and acetaminophens and home remedies and you name it. I have used them all. You know, <laughs> see, I haven't presented the tablets and caplets and the capsules and the nutritional um, supplements and all of them. I have a lot. But you know what to do. I will continue to take my supplements. I will continue to follow my physician's order. Yeah, because I am on some other medications too. But I have found that stretching the sole of the feet, massaging it, yeah, it does help a lot. So, I hope you find this video interesting and that you will give me your subscription. All right. Again, I am not offering medical advice. My name is June. I am in Jamaica and I'm sending you all the love. All right.